Hello subscribers! And this is an audio sketch show we made in 2013. Nobody watched it, so why not put it on here? We hope you enjoy it. I'm Woolly Socks, and this is my sheep and co-host Dario Blah Blah. <coughs> and this is Sheep Grazing Live. We've beheld so many breathtaking wonders in this field, and tonight is no exception. Isn't that right, Dari? <coughs> The life cycle of a sheep is something so awe-inspiring and beautiful. And tonight we're able to witness it right in this very field. As illustrated by Dari there, sheep, as you well know, are beautiful creatures. And I think that's all we've got time for here at Sheep Grazing Live. So from all of us here, good night. is really quite peculiar it's plain to see society is quite bizarre so we've taken silly oddities and mingled in some comedy and we'll say it modestly welcome to commodity welcome to commodity do you have precious gems lying around your grandmother's heirlooms cluttering up the corridor? Concerned that your child's inheritance is clogging the bank? Well, now there's a solution. Dust for things. Dust for things? You send us your precious things, and we will send you bags of dust. That's right, bags of dust. Absolutely free after shipping charges plus five. Simply buy a stamp, an envelope, possibly a box, put in all your precious things, and send it to us absolutely free. Money back guaranteed. Dust for things. Your things reduced to dust. No stores to see in for details. Dust may be synthetic. Allergies may apply. Shipping charges may not be simple. Dust for things. <laughs> Dear Diary, Happy New Year, a new year, a fresh start, a new diary. I found out the last one betrayed me, the little bitch. She revealed all of last year's secrets to my dearest family and friends at a very posh do just before Christmas. A cruel injustice. After all that conscientious confiding, trusting her to keep my words locked away. I fear she will have told all my previous diaries to do the same. Oh, woe is me. At least you will never do that to me, will you, my lovely new diary? Who are you? Stop following me around. Why are you calling me a diary? Just go home. Diary! average inhabitants on earth. They may seem familiar, even boring, but what they do in their private life remains a mystery. Spy devices find out what they're up to, scanning confidential emails, analyzing secret Skype calls, and decoding cryptic texts, unraveling their incredible, unexplored world. This is Spy in the iPod. Miss? Oh, that umbrella looks absolutely amazing on you. Can I just have a quick moment of your time? Not really. I don't really have any time. No, no. It'll take absolutely no time. No time? Well, I still don't have any oh, time. Oh, just one question. One question? Yep, a few questions. You just said one before. Yeah, but I, I'll start with the first one. Ugh, go on. Do you like dogs? Oh, yes, I love dogs. I've got a little poodle at home. This is for you. I heard about this cause, and I literally had to change my life. I was unemployed and needed the money. But aside from that, I needed to do this, because I know it will make a difference. Do you know that dogs don't have blogs? Blog? What is a blog? You know, where you write what you think online, maybe like a bit, a bit of a diary. Oh, blogs! Why would a dog need a blog? 
that's part of the problem. First, we need to get the awareness up, and that's part of the campaign that we're doing. We need to show that dogs need blogs. I think it's ridiculous dogs need blogs. I don't even need a blog. Well, what we need to get you to do is sign up today. If you can sign up today, you will make such a difference. Plus, I need to see some form of ID. Yep, no problem. I can, I can find something. Yep, hang on. Yep, yep there you go. This is just a paper card with some fed to pen written on it. Yep, that's my name. That is ridiculous. Well, well, if I can get you to quickly sign up, no. it won't. It doesn't take long. Look, I'm really not interested. I don't think this is a very good cause. No, I don't, can I? My dogs don't really need. Well, <laughs> my dog is fine. Adieu. Uh, I hate myself. Have you had an accident recently? Perhaps you slipped on a leaf outside a supermarket, or maybe you burnt yourself making a cup of tea at work. Whatever your injury, someone else is to blame. Call Life Ruiners and Son today, and we will help you blame your own carelessness on some poor sod who's trying to do the best job they can. It's 100% no-win, big fees, so what are you waiting for? We promise to ruin someone else's life and earn you a couple of quid into the bargain. Forget morality. Text us today on 0800 Pass the Buck for your free quote. Terms and conditions apply, but you'll never know what they are because the writing is too small to read. Good evening. I'm Judith Milligan. Now for tonight's main headline. We've all been awaiting the results from the world referendum on global peace, and tonight the outcome is revealed. It has been announced that absolute world peace will prevail, starting from today. However, this news has been soured by reports that Swedish ambassador has sustained a serious bloodshot eye. Over to our foreign correspondent, Brian Weatherby, reporting for Britain. Thank you, Judith. It is quite a spectacle I have in front of me. I can see the eye in question, and it's unclear at this point whether it's viral, possibly conjunctivitis. Other journalists are saying it might be serious. It's Brian Weatherby, reporting from the International Summit. Thank you, Brian. Coming up next, do dogs need blogs? I'm still Judith Milligan. See you after the break. Behind the doors of 52 Rosemary Avenue lies a world of untapped secrets. It's home to Clara Jones, a part-time sales assistant at the local department store. Although she may seem like a pretty average person, there's a treasure trove of personal data waiting to be uncovered. Spy webcam settles down for a sneak peek. Although there is now a strange green light flashing from her webcam, it doesn't seem to be bothering Clara. She's opened the program Skype on her computer screen. We think this is commonly used by people as a means of cheap communication when normal talking gets too expensive. Clara is having a Skype conversation with one of her friends in another country. They seem to be having a pretty normal exchange. But then, wait. Spy webcam has uncovered some surprising behaviour which has never been recorded before. Clara has typed some symbols into the chat box, which, once she has pressed the enter button on her keypad, appear to take the form of a smiling face. Spy webcam zooms in. We have never seen such a rare and unusual behaviour before. He'll be keeping an eye on her. Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. I'd like to buy a fish. Fish? Oh, fish and pool is nice and cool to catch a fish. No, I, no, sorry, I think you misunderstood. I don't want to catch one, I just want to buy one from you. Ah, yes, gracious. Give it to us raw and twinkling. No, I, I, no, I, what I want is it already prepared and done for me. How much is that? Daltus. <laughs> Commodity is devised by Sarah and James of Sarah and James Productions Unlimited. Featuring Sarah and James as the cast and vocal artists. We'd also like to thank the producers Sarah and James at Us As Well Productions. A special
special mention goes to our audio technical microphone. We couldn't have done it without you. Welcome to Commodity.